Hey guys, this is Pakistani Pepper, aka Abdul Rahman Siddiqui. So today I'm actually going to, this is going to look like a little bit of a lazy video because I'm just talking and I don't have a lot of research, but I thought it was important to actually have this conversation with anyone who might be planning on attending college or going into further education. And today I wanted to talk to you about basically what happens when you go into higher level education. So some background, I'm currently a doctoral student. I teach full time and then in the evenings once a week I go to take classes for educational leadership which is what I hope to get my doctoral degree in. Um, at the end of the program, which is going to be about five years, I can call myself Dr. Siddiqui A and B, I can actually you know, work in educational leadership and try to change like systems of education. So it's an important thing, it's a cause that I care about, but what it requires is that I actually work really, really hard for the time being and continue to work hard, but this is a different kind of work. So I haven't been to college in a while, right? I graduated in 2013 from undergrad and then um, like three years later I finished my master's, but I wasn't really used to the idea of teaching and studying for a while now. So what that resulted in is that now when I went back to school, it's a lot of work. I am like, I'm not exaggerating, I'm overwhelmed to the point that I really just on some days the tension just starts to kind of creep in. The thing is I kind of had to recalibrate back to my days when I was in college and I realized that that's kind of how it always is. Studying is difficult. It takes a while to get used to. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about. That A, sorry, won't really be posting any anime or gaming content. Won't be doing the live stream tomorrow because I have a paper due. But B, I kind of want to take this opportunity and just take like a little break from between the work. Because even right now, I'm writing. But um, I kind of just wanted to take a break between that and just let you guys know that don't let this deter you. Be aware of it, that the amount of work that goes into working and studying at the same time is a lot. But don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. It is actually, it's, it's a lot of work, but um, it's good. It's good for your brain to stay involved in that kind of activity. It's good for you to stay used to the idea of like thinking on your feet and it's good if your brain actually like learns new things and after all that like when you look just beyond yourself higher education can give you advantages that other things can't i know without a master's i wouldn't have been able to teach a profession in which you know i believe that i've made some kind of difference where i do care that um that i think that i've helped some students and where I hope to keep helping students. I couldn't have done that without the master's and without the doctoral degree I can't really break into educational leadership. I don't have like you know that kind of in without that experience. Yeah it's like I'm just trying to say don't be deterred by the amount of hard work. I've had to give up going out on the weekends. I've had to give up the time I spend with my family for a lot of this work. But in the end, I'm doing it so I can help my family and so I can help people beyond just my family. So don't be deterred by it. Don't be afraid because of it. It's going to be a lot of work. But at the end of the day, you're doing this so you could secure a better future, not just for yourself, but for a lot of other people. And at the end of the day, that's a lesson that I feel like maybe college counselors could teach us a little bit better. Maybe people who advise us on college could teach us a little bit better that you're going to be overwhelmed. Everyone should have the skills to survive and a big skill there is tension management. You can learn it. It's not something that's your, that you're automatically going to have and with time it's going to get better. But at the end of the day, you have to be ready for the fact that there are going to be tough days. There are going to be days where you break down and start crying or whatever. Yeah, I just admitted to something, sure, but you guys get the idea, right? It's difficult, but I sincerely believe that it's something we can teach ourselves, it's something we can do, and unlike student debt, it's something that's more in our control, the amount of tension we choose to take. 
Again, don't give up. College is going to be very difficult for a lot of you. For a lot of you, it will be the first time we face that kind of tension. But if you can get through high school, you can get through basic school, you can get through college. It's just a matter of managing a lot of work and a lot of stress. This is Pax Any Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.